we can stop. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, check out all this stuff that I got in town yesterday. So I believe I ended the last video letting you guys know that there was actually a yard sale that I was going to, a multiple family indoor yard sale. Um, went to that and picked up some stuff and also went to the thrift store and got some stuff. Anyways, I'm just going to dive right into it and show you guys what we got here. Got some clothing. Uh, this is... If I could get it there we go so this is a Budweiser like I don't know what would you call that a I don't know but it's in really good shape the pockets are good I checked everything I didn't see any snags anywhere or anything it looks I, th I would say this is vintage um, not exactly sure uh, Paige and Tuttle I recognize that brand I haven't looked it up but I got it for three bucks uh, so I felt pretty confident that I could get you know $20, $30 for this, probably something like that, you know, uh, nothing too bad. Just a little simple embroidered Budweiser uh, coat, jacket, whatever you want to call that. Um, and then, so, funny story, uh, Went. that's the other thing that I went and did. Went to uh, the Harley Davidson dealership in my town because they also sell ATVs. I bought an ATV from them for a while back. I got a call the other day while I was streaming and they were like, hey, you have uh, X amount of credits on your account. We're doing a blood drive and double points weekend, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I got a whole bag of official, officially licensed, brand new with tags, Harley Davidson gear for free. Actually, I paid five bucks. That's kind of the grand finale because that stuff's really cool. Um, I'll, I'll save that till the end of the video. The yard sale stuff is in here. I actually got more of those Halo 3 UNSC wallets that you guys have been. I don't, I don't know if it's all viewer sales, but I know at least a few of them have been you guys. Um, I think I had 10 initially and I just went ahead and bought everything that they had. Um, I, it, my guy that I got these from the first time wasn't there, but I think it was like his family. Um, but he wasn't there, and they had a dollar on them, and I bought another 12, and I was like, I've got 12 here, would you do 10? And they were like, sure. So I, I got them for a little less than a dollar a piece. All I have to do, since I already have a listing with those listed, um, I just have to adjust the quantity and add another 12 and uh, those will be good to go. And those have been doing really well for me. I think I've sold three or at least, I think I've sold three or four of them and I'm selling them for $10 a piece. So those have been doing pretty good for me, dollar a piece. I figured why not, I'll just pick them up. Kind of cool too, like I'm a Halo nerd. So it was cool to see. Then I got this, uh, I saw these bands first before I even noticed that like there's a Squirtle balloon in the background. I think there's a bunch of other balloons in there too. I think it's like a, I think it's like a birthday party. Yeah, look, Pokemon theme birthday celebration. So I think there's just a bunch of uh, helium balloons in there. I'll have to see what those are. But that Squirtle looks pretty sizable. And I know some of those big, especially like, you know, uh, branded, uh, one of my uh, official brand um, helium balloons can have some decent value. And honestly, I probably would have picked it up for the $3 anyways, just, just for the, um, the little bands. They look pretty cool. And I was thinking, you know, if nothing else, I would put like a blue, a red, and a yellow together and, you know, sell them for a few bucks. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Maybe $4.99 free ship or something like that on some of these Team Mystic, Team Valor bands and stuff like that. Uh, do little wristband packages or something. I don't know. So I'll, I'll open that later and see exactly what we've got in there. But uh, I think it was a fairly safe pickup for three bucks. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah, I got some hats. This also came from the yard sale, multi, multiple person indoor yard sale. So we got a nice clean John Deere hat. Um, looked very clean on the inside and everything. Snapback, uh, officially licensed John Deere. So I don't, I'm sure I won't have a problem selling that. Uh, this Oakley hat is a little bit, it, it's got a little bit of dirtiness on the on the what do you what do you call this the brim i don't know but i think i can clean that up a little bit and i know anything oakley usually does pretty good so i picked that up i got all these for a dollar a piece uh and then this hat i thought was pretty cool it's a red stripe hat uh jamaica and this little red stripe bottle here actually is a bottle opener so i thought that was pretty cool um it's officially licensed red stripe 
And uh, yeah, for a dollar a piece on those, I thought that was a fairly good pickup. I love selling hats. I sell hats pretty regularly. They're easy to list, they're easy to ship, uh, and the profit margin is usually pretty good. I mean, bottom dollar hats that I sell, I usually sell hats for at least 10 bucks. Uh, and if I look them up and these hats are going for 30, you know, then I'll sell it closer to that. So I love picking up hats. What else we got in here? Oh yeah, I stopped at a another little thrift store. You guys remember, you might remember, I picked this up the other day at, um, at the open door, I believe. Uh, just as something, just to, just to list something. It wasn't worth the most. I think I saw them going for five to 10 bucks. Uh, then I saw people had sets of them as well. And then wouldn't you know it, I go to another thrift store and she had all three. And I was like, okay, I'll do a dollar a piece. She was like, sure. So I picked them up. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't remember what I can sell the set for. Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and get like $20, $30 out of the set, something like that. We'll just have to see. Um, let's see, is that everything in there? And then I didn't really want to, but I got some cassettes just because it's, it's getting hard towards the end of winter here. I need to keep getting listings up and I'm running out of inventory. So I could have swore I picked up more than just one brand new cassette, but uh, got some random stuff here. So I got Willie Nelson and... Willie Nelson and where's the other one? I thought I got two country people. Who's this? Well, I got Billy Joel, Willie Nelson, Meatloaf, Bon Jovi, Foreigner, and there it is, Hank Williams Jr. So I figured I might do Willie Nelson and Hank Williams Jr. together and then do these uh, these four as a classic rock lot. So, and this I might just use as like bundle wear. Like if I'm ever selling an audio cassette recorder, I'll just throw that in with it. So pretty simple stuff there. Nothing super exciting. And then, okay, that's it from the thrift stores. So now we get to go to the good stuff. Let me go put my, this always stays right here. And as I get orders packed, I throw it in there. And that way I'm not searching for my orders every day whenever I need to go to the post office. I know exactly where they're at. All right, so in here is the good stuff. I'm excited about this stuff. So this is $180 worth of officially licensed Harley Davidson gear, new with tags from the gift shop that I paid $5 for because I had credits saved up whenever I bought an ATV from them a while back. I didn't know, they didn't tell me that I was getting credits on everything that I bought from them. So I got the credits on all the accessories that I purchased, you know, so technically I had to spend thousands of dollars to get this stuff, you know, but um, at the same time, like if they wouldn't have done the rewards points stuff, on those transactions, I wouldn't have got anything. And I didn't even know. So, so uh, we got some officially licensed Harley Davidson, the 3930s. Um, these are, so some of these are kind of expensive, some of them, but like a lot of these Harley Davidson hats with the tags, I looked up and they still go for about, you know, $30 on eBay. So that's what I'm gonna try to get out of them because obviously they're brand new. So um, this one was 20, pretty nice one there. I guess we'll set them all out like this. 950 snapback with the big classic shield. That was a $30 hat. Um, let's see. I thought this one was really cool with the eagle on it. That's uh, I think this one was cheaper. Yeah, that one was only 18 and it was like one of my favorites. So we got that. Let's try to line it all up. Get the tags out for a nice thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? That one doesn't have a tag to pull. Yeah, it does. Oh, I'll worry about that later. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, and then I noticed beanies do pretty well too. Like beanies go for 25, 30 bucks if they're Harley. Uh, so we got the classic shields. The cool thing about these is they were over on the clearance rack. So I got them for $16 a piece. And actually I got them cheaper for that because they were also doing a special on their clearance items, which I wish I would have known beforehand, but these were both on clearance. So it was buy one clearance item, get the other clearance item half off. So I got these for $24. So I got them for 12 a piece. So that's pretty good. And like I said, I think I'm gonna be able to get 30 bucks a piece out of those. These were also on the clearance rack. These giant uh, Harley Davidson kind of uh, bedazzled look. I have not looked these up, but they were normally $24.99 in their gift shop, marked down to 12. So I would have got the two for $18. So I got these for nine bucks a piece. I think there's still room. Um, you know, I mean, the, the size of these patches 
I think I can, I mean, I think that's probably a $25, $30 patch. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't look them up. Um, yeah. So I got those. And then I got some smaller patches here too. And these again are pretty big patches. Same thing, 12 and 12. Uh, so, you know, I got them both for 18, which is $9 a piece. Uh, United, we ride with the American flags and everything and the, the big eagle on the back. Again, I'm pretty sure I can get probably at least 20 bucks a piece out of those. So we're looking at some really good sales here, I think. And then I had a little bit left on my credit, so I just went ahead and got a little Harley Davidson pin. Um, and I think that's everything. Yes, that is. So, actually, let's see this. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see here. Um, make sure there's nothing I can't show you here. Yeah, so as you can see here, the camera will focus. $180 worth of stuff, and I paid $5.74. So all this, let's make it all purdy. Look at that. Okay, come on camera. There we go. All that Harley gear for $5.74. Very nice. So that'll be good. I'll be excited to sell all that stuff. And this stuff isn't bad either, you know? So uh, went into town, spent a little bit of money, but came home with lots of good listings. So now I need to get at that. What's up, dudes? Look at this pile of stuff that I'm currently trying to get listed. Uh, it's been a crazy few days. I went yesterday with the kiddos when we watched the new Sonic movie. And it was great, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Um, not only for the kid. I love that this, like, I'm 31 years old and they're starting to re-release all these movies because, or these franchises at least, making them into movies because they know that whenever they're 6-year-old, 10-year-old kids, whatever, like, yo, can we go watch the new Sonic movie that... I'm the parent and I grew up playing that stuff. So I'm gonna be like, huh, yeah, we're gonna go watch the new Sonic movie. And uh, it's been great. You know, Sonic, Lion King, all this stuff that's been coming out, it's been awesome. So anyways, yeah, I highly recommend the new Sonic movie for any of you guys that are, like, I just, I love any of those video game pop culture reference movies like Wreck-It Ralph and stuff like that. I've just been having a lot of fun with it. So anyways, uh, yeah, so I also have a trip coming up here in a few days. I'm gonna be out in Los Angeles for a few days. Um, so this, this amount of stuff is good because I can get a bunch of draft listings done for while I'm, um, while I'm traveling and keep my listings going even though I am not at home. Couple things to show you guys. Look at these. We got the Hova Flips, the new logos uh, from my buddy who hooked it up. If you guys have noticed, there's new channel art and a new channel icon. And now, and there should be merch popping up under these videos here pretty soon. I just set up uh, like a t-shirt, a coffee mug, and some socks. Uh, just for something for fans of the channel if you guys want to get anything. If you guys are actually actually interested in these stickers, I'm going to try to remember to do... I'll probably just do an eBay listing for like a combo of both of the stickers or something. Um, so check the description if you're interested in those. They should be available. Other than that, I think I'm going to... I've got like 50 of each. I'm going to do like some giveaways and stuff like that. So, um, But these are cool. This is like a coin design, obviously, as you can see. And then this one is actually transparent other than the design itself. So you can see I slapped one on the fridge right here and I think it's looking pretty awesome. I think it looks pretty great. So you can throw that on a car window or whatever, but uh, I got these these stickers from Sticker Mule. They've got really high quality products. That's what most of my stickers are, uh, is Sticker Mule. So anyways, I just got back actually, I stopped by the Salvation Army. I had to go into town and drop off and pick up some Facebook buys facebook marketplace the auction group that i'm on and uh that wasn't open yet so i took my boys out and we got some donuts and we were just basically trying to waste time and then i stopped at the salvation army because we still had 30 minutes until that place opened uh so luckily whenever i went in there i noticed they were doing a 50 percent off store-wide sale 
which was pretty cool because they hardly ever do sales, but since it's President's Day, that's what they were doing their sale for, I guess. But they don't advertise it or anything, so unless I happen to stum stumble in there on sale day, you know, it doesn't, I, I never know. But anyways, I got StarCraft II Legacy of the Void uh, for $2.50. And I was looking that up. I think I can get like 10 bucks out of it. Nothing too crazy. Um, the, the other day when I was showing you guys... Where the other one go? When I was showing you guys the cassettes that I bought, I was like, I could have swore I got more than one. That's where they were. They were in the... They, they fell out and they were in the back of my truck. So um, they had a hat rack that I find... They didn't have their hats priced. And I finally asked today, since it was 50% off day, I was like, how much are your hats? And she was like, $2.00. But since it was 50% off day, dollars what I like to spend on hats anyway. So I picked up six hats from them. I, I'm going to be listing a whole bunch of hats. I already got so many hats. But anyways, we got a Sonic hat here. Um, what's that say? Service at the speed of sound. So um, it's a nice clean hat. I figured I would pick it up. Why not? Uh, we got, this is an MLB team, I believe. I don't watch baseball. It's a Twista or a Tornado, whichever you want to call it. But it says Major League Baseball right there on the tag. Genuine merchandise. It's in good shape. Oh, I didn't even notice it even has a sticker right there. Uh, but I thought that was kind of unique that it's camouflage and then it's got the team logo, whatever that would be, um, right there. So I picked that one up. I picked up this Dolphins hat. It's not the cleanest. I might try to clean up the bill a little bit. But other than that, it's not too bad. And the inside is fairly clean. Uh, but you can tell that this is definitely officially licensed NFL um, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. why can't I think of the name? Not retro, vintage. My, what? I just, I just completely, my brain broke. Uh, so you can definitely tell that that's officially licensed Miami Dolphins vintage, um, football gear right there. So needs a little bit of cleaning up, but for as old as that is, that's not bad. And I haven't looked up, I didn't look up any of these hats, but I, you know, might be able to get 20 bucks out of that or something. Um, if the Dolphins ever get good again, but and then we got we got a Mason hat uh, Which I thought was I mean anything with a big logo on it like that embroidered usually, you know I kind of pay attention to and it looked pretty much brand new So I went ahead and picked it up for a dollar then we got Marco Island. I don't know what Marco Island is but again clean hat looked pretty nice shape I, you know, it, 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 it looks a little rustic, but I think that's how it's supposed to look. You know, I could be totally wrong, but went ahead and picked that up. And then, as much as I hate to, uh, because I despise Kansas, we got a KU hat here. KU baseball, and it's officially licensed and all that good stuff. So, fairly good. What's that say? The, the game? The game? I think that's what that says. Um... But it's in fairly good condition as well. So those six hats for six bucks, not too shabby. And then this was the item that I was picking up from uh, the Facebook auction group. I don't know if you can see the bags like super, uh, the, the bags all torn up. The pen's fine, but it's a uh, Disneyland 35 years of magic. Captain EO. I don't know who that little elephant dude is, but uh, I looked these up. I think I can get about 10 bucks for this. What's it say on the back there? The Walt Disney Company. Uh, yeah, so I think I can get about 10 bucks for that. I paid a dollar for it. So just a few pickups, nothing nothing too crazy or exciting, but uh, that's what's going on. So I've got so much stuff to get listed today, tomorrow, and then I need to save drafts for three days worth of traveling. So oh, I, I also forgot to mention to you guys that I, um, I totally forgot that today was President's Day. I don't remember ever getting President's Day off for school. Do you guys? I don't know, maybe I'm just old, but uh, I drove my kids to school this morning totally forgetting that they didn't have school because it's President's Day. Uh, but anyways, this guy sold and a bunch of other stuff sold over the weekend that I would have normally gotten to the post office here today. Um, but since it's President's Day and they are closed, I'm going to grab all that stuff right now and get it all packed up and then it'll have to ship out tomorrow on Tuesday. It's kind of annoying whenever the post office is closed and you're doing eBay, but uh, anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna get all that stuff packed up, ready to go for shipping out tomorrow. Oh yeah, and this, I almost forgot. This is the other thing that I found, the Salvation Army, which is really ironic because, well, I guess you guys have never seen this. So if you look right there, we got a Disney Princess TV, 
and I already have the remote for it right there and the speakers they mount to the top but I'm pretty sure I can't yeah I think I can feel the, the there's little like joints on the bottom basically so I listed just the TV as is with the remote and the speaker I got that from somebody on Facebook not too long ago and today uh, at the Salvation Army thrift store I find this and this is the actual DVD player that the TV sits on top of. You can tell these four little things, like the, the, the legs. It doesn't really have legs, but it's just got little like ball joints, I guess, that sit down into that. And this is a DVD player, and it had the remote. So I'm going to have to test and make sure that it actually plays DVDs. Uh, but I did plug it in at the thrift store, and the light came on. If you hit the power button, the light then would turn green. I ejected the disc tray and all that seemed to be working fine everything that i could test there uh you know seemed to be working fine and obviously it's a little bit dirty so i'm gonna have to clean it up but i think it's gonna be worth selling this separate i was seeing these guys go for like 50 bucks by themselves it was 25 dollars 50 percent off days 12.50 um so not too bad so i just thought that was really weird like i already had the tv listed and then i ran across this and like what are the chances of that so welcome back to the shed of all sheds Got some Pokemon balloons listed yesterday. I need to get those folded back up and put away. Uh, still working on a little bit of a pile of things that I've showed you guys uh, multiple times now. And here are the polls for the morning. I still have all the stuff that I couldn't ship over the weekend because of President's Day. The post office was closed yesterday, but uh, I had four orders to pull this morning. Uh, one of them being this controller here. This Darksiders controller which uh, the person that purchased that was very, very excited um, because it's seemingly pretty rare. That's something that Xbox sent to me and it was just sitting on a shelf and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get real. I've been trying to do that with a lot of my stuff in my personal collection. I'm keeping a lot of stuff, like if it's Halo or you know, Gears of War, the games that I'm really, really into. Uh, but if it's stuff that's just gonna sit around my house forever and not get used, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to be a little bit more of an adult and stop being a hoarder with a lot of that stuff, you know, come to come to terms and be like, okay, I don't need this. I uh, sold a St. Louis pin Dragon Ball t-shirt and the Jurassic Park set. So if you watch the Jurassic Park opening uh, trading card, 1990, I always forget, it's 93 or 92. Uh, but the Topps Trading Cards Jurassic Park, I bought an entire case and opened them, and I was able to fill out one entire complete set. I'll just do a thumb through real quick for you guys, because they're pretty cool. All the characters, scenes from the movie. Uh, there's some that kind of show like behind the scenes while it was being filmed, which I thought was really cool. Let's see if there's any of those that I can show you. More scenes from the movie. Here you go, on the set. So that's kind of cool. You get to see, like, was that Lucas or Spielberg? I don't know. Steven Spielberg. Uh, so you kind of get to see, like, a little bit of behind the scenes. You get some art, which is pretty cool. I thought this one was cool to see. There's, like, a there's like a safety guy, maybe a stuntman or something, behind little Tim. Because Tim must have been, I mean, what? 10 when they filmed that I, I don't know exactly but uh and he's pretty high up you can tell there he's pretty high i'm sure they had like padding and stuff on the ground but he's like behind him just in case he falls it looks like which i thought was kind of cool to see because that's such an iconic scene obviously uh but yeah I, I put these really nice brand new uh ultra pro sleeves in this brand new binder that i picked up and i put the entire set here's the stickers and the stickers on the back form a puzzle which is pretty cool too so there's the rest of the stickers, and then on the back you can see the rest of the puzzle. Um, so I just threw them in this in this little binder with the new sheets and everything, and I had some Jurassic Park stickers laying around the house because that's how much of a nerd I am. Slap that on the front, and I think it looked pretty good. And uh, wouldn't you know it, our boy Josh, you remember Josh, uh, the guy that bought all the consoles and we were putting kind things in the comments for him? Uh, he picked up both of these overnight. So uh, thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate it once again. He is now the proud owner of the official set, full set of Jurassic Park cards, minus the holograms. I didn't get all four holograms. So this is the full set minus the holograms um, that were featured in my own video, the Hova Flips uh, trading card pack opening on YouTube's. I know it's a pretty big deal. So anyway, speaking of card openings, guys, uh, if you guys are interested, I am getting some Pokemon cards. 
let's see here. I've got another one. <clears throat> I think I've already showed this one, maybe. I don't know. Sun and Mood Burning Shadows. And then we got Sun and Mood Cosmic Eclipse. And I have one more set on the way. I can't remember. Uh, but my buddy Draw recommended these sets uh, because I he knows that I like the OG Pokemon. I don't really, like, you know, obviously the new Pokemon are in these. But you can still get, like, Charizard pulls and stuff like that. Um, I sold Breaks on the big sports pack i just ordered like a hundred dollar box of nfl cards and all i think i sold breaks for all the teams except for eight in the nfl which is pretty impressive i didn't i didn't even know that selling breaks was a thing but it's a really cool way that um basically you purchase a team and then any card that i open in that case and there can be like really rare autographed or auto, uh, or um, jersey cards that are worth a lot of money uh, I have to ship that to you if it's your team. So um, that's been really cool. And that's going to be a way that, like, I, I was just kind of being like, well, hopefully I can make the money back on, on YouTube or, or a little bit of Twitter revenue. And, you know, uh, maybe I can just hopefully make enough revenue just to open the cards, uh, you know, for free. Um, make my money back on the ad revenue kind of thing. But now with these breaks, you know, I can I can do that. And it's much easier to make my money back on it. And then we can just open more and more and more and more cards. Um, so my buddy Draw recommended, or he asked me, he's like, are you going to sell breaks on the Pokemon cards? And I was like, how does that even work? I guess you um, you sell breaks to people. They purchase um, by type. So like fire type, electric, um, bug, you know, rock type, fighting type, all that stuff. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, if you guys are interested in purchasing breaks, uh, get a hold of me either in the comments down below, but ideally on on Discord, and I'll start making a channel for that if you guys want to do that. So again, basically you would just purchase, you know, uh, electric type, and any electric type card that I open, I would send that to you, um, and then you can get a chance at, at getting some really, you know, really high end collector collector cards. Uh, for a lot cheaper than what they should be, and then I get to open a whole lot more of these. So, anyways, I got one more case of these, and I think if we if we sell breaks, it's going to be for all three. It's going to be for this, this, and the third one that's coming. I'll probably do three separate videos, um, but I would just take like all the electric types out of all three boxes, ship them to whoever bought of the electric. Uh, but I dibs fire. I'm sorry. I know everybody's going to want fire, but I want fire. I want it. I want Charizard. There's also a really sick uh, Charmeleon. I was looking through one of the sets um, and, and looking exactly what you can get. And one of them has like a really awesome, I think it's like a reverse hollow Charme Charmeleon. Or maybe it even is a Charmander. I don't know. But there was a cool one. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing. I got to get this stuff packed. Uh, take all that plus this stuff over the post office. And then I got to get to listing and getting some... Um, getting some drafts done for the next three days because I am not going to be home. I'm debating, I might take this camera. I might just kind of, because I'm kind of used to the vlog sitch right now. I might just kind of try to vlog it a little bit. I don't know. No promises on that, but I love you guys. And uh, also what I sold on eBay usually is going to be going up on Thursdays now. I will be in LA. So it depends on what I have to do while I'm there, and I'm not 100% sure on that yet. So I'm going to try to film what I sold on eBay um, from my hotel room, but no promises on that for obvious reasons. So anyways, I love you guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.